Today we're going to check out Nokia's new X3 Touch and Type. It's an S40 phone. Uh, it's available in Europe, or it should be by the uh, third quarter, end of the third quarter now, at uh, 125 euro, which is roughly about 160 bucks uh, in the United States. Nokia is not sure if it's going to retail in the United States, but uh, we'll check it out anyway for our European viewers and anybody who might be interested in uh, checking it out while abroad. Um, it has a unique feature uh, in terms of it has a resistive uh, touch screen uh, on the smaller side, but it also has a keyboard so you can interact with it uh, via touch, touching the screen or the keyboard. So now we're going to go through an unboxing I'll show you some of the features. Alright, here we are with the box itself. You can see it has uh, the OV Store installed, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook around it. Various colors here, there's a blue one, a uh, pinkish red one there, a black one. I believe we'll have the black one in the box yet. I haven't opened it yet, so we'll go through it together. Pink one and a white one. Some of the features here, it says up top, S40 3G HSPA, WLAN, 2.4 inch touch display, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Comes with, uh, let's see, it's in the box, battery charger, stereo headset, and user guide. So let's uh, let's get started. We'll open up the box. No oh, pink cover. Let's see what we have. Here we have the quick start guide for OV services. It gets you through the push email, chat, social networking guide. Here's the phone itself. You can see we have the uh, international charger here. The so no micro USB actually, just a uh, one of these proprietary chargers here. <coughs> That's a step away from the, the normal. We haven't seen a non micro USB charger in a while. Here's the battery. Three point seven volt. Eight hundred and sixty. Middle amp hours. Let's see. Privacy policy. This is the user guide for the phone. And here we have the headset. <clears throat> So plastic earbuds, you got a clip here, can't tell if there's a microphone but I wouldn't be surprised if there was one, and a three and a half millimeter uh, plug. Okay, here we go, we'll take off the sticker here, it's showing us that we can touch the screen. <clears throat> and another sticker telling us we can touch the screen. <laughs> Okay, so we have a alphanumeric keyboard here, or keypad rather. We have uh, the power button. This looks like a immediate quick launch, we'll find out. Messaging, and a, uh, these are going to be the send end keys as well. Moving around the phone, nothing on this side, but a. Uh, actually, I'm not sure yet that that's a button. Here we have the uh, three and a half millimeter headphone jack, uh, the charging port and a micro USB what appears to be a micro USB port but that's not on the charger so interesting you get the uh, volume keys right here a lock button and I'm going to guess that this is a camera key but I'm not sure yet it could just be to take off the back cover 5 megapixel camera here See if we can. Ah, uh, yep. Looks like these will be needed to open up the back cover. Okay, so squeezing these two buttons here popped off the back cover for me. Pop in the battery. Here we have a SIM card slot, micro SD card slot, and the spot for the battery itself. Just pop that in. We'll get a SIM card and pop that in in just a second. But as I was uh, as I was going through the top, I, and I just looked through the guide again. This is a micro USB, I was correct, a charging slot, and so you have the option to charge with a cable if you have one. It doesn't come in the box, 
or with the uh, this the regular charging uh, uh, dongle or, or cable that came with the phone. Uh, but this is also used for transferring uh, files over to the phone if you do have a micro USB uh, or micro SD card in rather. So let's uh, I'm gonna get a SIM card and pop it in, then we'll get this thing fired up. All right, now that we've got the phone booted up, let's take a tour of some of its features. So it has a touch screen. That means you can just tap it, get what you want uh, right there. So we have our favorite contacts, which you can then add uh, more to from your address book. Um, and all of these, so if we click the mail account, it would open up our mail, which uh, we have not set up yet. Go to the home screen. You have Facebook, a camera, messaging, and the OV store down at the bottom. I checked out the OV store briefly earlier, and it's not uh, set up yet. It requires an update, but I believe it's the new user interface um, that was just launched recently. Now if we go to menu, you can see it's a standard uh, S40 menu here. So you have your calendar, contacts, music, internet, messaging, photos, settings, the OV store, and apps. Inside apps, you have some of these uh, personal information management tools. So you have your to-do list, your notes, a timer, stopwatch, you know, the basics there. Say my music, even though we have it, well, you know, just changing around. And we don't want the store there. We want a meeting. So this should totally revamp the home screen that we saw earlier. And there you go. So instead of having Facebook and all those down the bottom, we have them in the middle. Web searches, Google. And there's also the option to use Bing. And uh, we have the Connect headset for the radio there. And then uh, our customized shortcuts. So we, we changed the music player we snapped in. Speaking of, let's check that out. So standard S40 music player here, very familiar with. Volume from the right. You get your album art right in the middle of the screen there. You choose to shuffle or repeat songs. The volume sounds, I mean, decently loud, and we're just on three bars there, so a phone like this has a, a little bit of a focus on its music. So it's good to see that it's got some quality there. And again, you can use the headphone jack up top. Let's see what this play button does. I'm assuming that launches. Oh, okay, so it brings up your music player. So if it's playing, you can quickly. And we'll hit that button again. Hides that. And then we'll just stop it. So quickly stop and play your music. Messaging shortcuts. And we have no numbers. Let's see what the dial pad looks like. We'll add to contact. Just messing around here, general. We're entering the first name, which made it up there. And we can add a little more information about them, put their business card in there, view the conversations. Let's see if we can get some more information here. Photos, I don't know if there's any on here. No photos, so why don't we take one? So it's a five megapixel camera. Let's see. Take a picture. So quick there. Bring this back to the screen. Let's see, we have the option then to turn on the uh, video camera for recording. Play back the videos that we shot. This menu. Let's see the settings. You can change video storage if it's going to go to the phone memory or to the uh, onto a micro SD card the quality camera sounds on or off 
keep your timer. So pretty basic. Um, but a five megapixel camera should give you some good shots, uh, depending on the quality of the the image sensor. Here we have web search. So you would just type right from the home screen, search the web, which we already went over a little bit. Already seen the apps. The OV store needs to be updated. Let's see if we can do that this time. It failed earlier for me. Yeah, okay. So it's not. Could be something with our SIM card here. Uh, that's why I'm using the Wi Fi network. Anyhow, that's a quick look here at the X3 uh, Touch and Type from Nokia. Again, it's 125 euro uh, in Europe by, uh, I believe, by the end of the third quarter, which is about 150, 160 bucks in the United States. Um, if it retails here, Nokia is not sure that they'll deliver this phone here.